Um, in past years, you've been very specific about some of the numbers related to Coca-Cola, Wells Fargo, uh, Rockwood, specifically like with Coca-Cola, cost of aluminum and sugar and all that that goes into the bottom line of Coca-Cola. Can you provide some of the specific numbers that go into some of your more recent purchases over the last couple of years? Well, they, they have such different characteristics. That's very difficult. I mean, we have service businesses such as uh, flight safety and, and executive jet as a service business. Uh, and, you know, in many of those companies, the big cost is personnel. I mean, we need people uh, with, at a flight safety. We've got a lot of money invested in simulators. We'll put over $200 million into simulators this year, just as we did last year. So we have a big capital cost in that business. And then we have a big people cost because we are training, we are training pilots. And that's very person on person intensive. Net jets, part of executive jet, very, very people intensive. I mean, we, we, we are absolutely no better than the people that interact with, with our clientele. Uh, you get into something like the carpet business, uh, and maybe only 15% of your revenues will be accounted for by, by, by uh, employment costs. And you're a very heavy raw material buyer. I mean, you're buying lots of fiber. And, and, and uh, so it, it varies enormously by the kind of business here. And I mean, when we're in the insurance business, you know, we're in the business of paying future claims. And that's our big cost. And that's a, that obviously involves estimates because sometimes we're, we're going to pay the claim 5, 10, or 20 years later. So we're not going to know about it sometimes until 20 years later. So it's very hard to generalize among the businesses. If you're in the retail business, which we are in the furniture and jewelry in a significant way, uh, purchased goods are, are very, obviously very important. We don't manufacture uh, our own goods to any extent in those businesses. And then the second cost, of course, is, 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 uh, is labor in a business like that. But we don't have any notions as to what we want to buy based on, on uh, how their costs are segmented. We, what we really are looking for is an enduring competitive advantage. I mean, that's, that is, that's what's going through our mind all the time. And then we want, obviously, top-notch people running the place because we we're not going to run them our, ourselves. So those are, the, those are the two factors we look at. We, we want to understand the cost structure. But Charlie and I can understand the cost structure of many companies. There's many we can't. But we can, we can understand them of a good many companies. And we don't really care whether we're buying into a people-intensive business, a raw material-intensive business, a rent-intensive business. Uh, we do want to understand it and understand why it's got an edge against its competitors. Charlie? Yeah, basically, to some extent, we're like the hedgehog that knows one big thing. If you generate flow at 3% per annum and buy businesses that earn 13% per annum with the proceeds of the float, we have actually figured out that that's a pretty good position to be in. <laughs> it took us a long time. <laughs> Incidentally, I, I would hope that we would ex and, and actually expect that absent a mega catastrophe, that 3% figure will, will come down over the next, uh, well, it, but in the near future. But a mega catastrophe could change all of that. I mean, if you had a, if you had a $50 billion insured catastrophe, uh, Tokyo earthquake, California earthquake, Florida hurricane, I mean, those, those, we're in the business of taking those risks. Uh, we're the largest insurer, as you may know, of the California Earthquake Authority. Uh, uh, I have a sister here who is from Carmel, and she used to call me when the dogs and cats start running in circles. And, um, <laughs> so we're exposed to some things that uh, could change, but absent the mega catastrophe, uh, experience is going in the right way at both, at, really at all of our insurance companies. Um, uh, and I would expect that to continue for a while, and then at some point I expect it to, uh, to reverse itself. Isn't that helpful? Uh...